Hello boys and girls, moms and dads, grandmas, grandpas, cats, dogs, and all you peanut butter sandwiches out there. Teacher Paul here for Steam Squad, and today I'm going to be teaching you all about our Lego Catapult project. Now, our Lego Catapult is based on a mechanism called a lever. Levers are beams that turn around a pivot or a fulcrum and can be used to move loads. Let's look at a simple lever first. I have all the pieces here to put together our own simple lever mechanism using Lego. Just pick those up. Right, let's get started by putting our base together. Our base is made of two white beams and they slot together just like this with a couple of connectors. Boom. Once I have my base together, the next thing I'm gonna need to do is use some angle brackets to raise the fulcrum or the pivot up off the floor. It's pretty easy to do. I use a yellow connector here and then a black connector on the other side. So it looks like this and then just slot it into place. And I need to do that on the other side. But first of all, we can start to assemble our lever arm. Our lever arm is just made of two bricks, which I connect with two black connectors. I use two because if I use one, it won't hold together in the same place. We need two connection points to make that connection nice and strong. Now on one side, I'm going to put two white plates this is to show me where I should apply effort. On the other side, I'm going to add our heavy load block. So that's going to be my lever arm. And now I'm going to add the most important part of a lever, which is, of course, the pivot. So I put an axle through here. On one side of that, I'm going to put a red I don't know what to call this piece actually, one of those. Then I'm going to put my lever arm through, taking care to make sure I'm using the center hole like this. Now it's already a lever, but right now it'll just fall right off. So it's not very good, right? So let's get it back on there and let's secure it in place by adding our other angle bracket exactly the same way as I did before. One yellow connector, one black connector, and then we slide it into our overall construction like this. And now we just add a red stopper on the end like that. And there you have it. I have a lever. Levers are made up of three fundamental important parts. On one side, we have the load or the heavy thing we are trying to move. In another place, we have the effort where we are expected to push down or lift up. And that's going to move the lever. And then in the center, in this example, we have our fulcrum or our pivot point. That is where the lever will turn around. Here, our fulcrum is in the center. That makes this a first class lever. Another example of a first class lever is a scissors. Our pivot does not need to be in the center though. We can change it around a little bit. Here, you can see I've put the load in the center or the middle and the pivot is to one side. This is a second class lever. I can still lift the lever like this. This is how a wheelbarrow works. A wheelbarrow is a second class lever. That's not all though. We can also make a third type of lever. Here, the effort has been moved to the center. This makes our lever a third class lever. We have the pivot or fulcrum on one side, 
The load on the other side and in the center is where we apply the effort. This is a third class lever. An example of a third class lever is a hammer. Bang, bang, bang. Now that we know a little bit about how levers work, let's look more closely at the catapults. Here, I have two examples of 3D printed catapults that I have made. The first one here uses a rubber band to store potential energy and convert it to kinetic energy. And my yellow one here uses levers to launch projectiles. Both levers though have pivot points. Here's my pivot point. They also have a place for effort right here and a load, which will be the missile. Let's see the blue one in action first. I put my load in, pull back. Three, two, one. It launched my projectile, no problem. What a cool catapult. And here's now the yellow one. The yellow one, all I need to do is push down here. So let's see. Three, two, one. Boom. So both of these are examples of catapults. Catapults were used a long time ago when people wanted to capture castles. So they would roll their catapult up and they would use it to fire huge stones into the wall of the castle, hoping to break it. I guess now we should go and try to make our Lego catapult. We're gonna start off by building the base. Then we're going to build the catapult arm or the actual lever. And then finally, we will put the two together and we will have a working catapult. Here we go. So I start off with an eight long blue brick, stick in two black connectors, and then take another one and stick those two together like so. On top, I add two four by two plates. Sorry for the traffic noise in the background there, just like this. Okay. On top of that then, I am going to add my heavy brick. This is going to give our catapult some weight so it won't fly away when we shoot something heavy. And we add two one by two blue bricks on top, just like this. Each, we now add four black connectors, two on each side in the center, two there, and then two, one, and two like that. Then on one side and the other side, we place another eight long blue brick coming up. That's a pretty solid base for us there. Now it's time to add some wheels. So I really hate putting together the rubber and the wheel. And wheels all put together. We're gonna use some 10 long axles to hold our wheels in place. So I put the wheels in, uh, the axle in. I add a bushing, first of all, to keep the wheels away from the wall of our catapult. It's a very important step, otherwise your wheels will get stuck. And then add my wheel on like that. And as well on the other side. I see we could have used a shorter axle, but that's okay, no problem. You can probably change that if I was to build it again. One axle on this side, Another axle on the other side here like this. And then slotting our wheels into place. One and two. There we go. So now that is our base complete. You can see the wheels are able to move. It's able to roll. Perfect. Now it's time to start building our catapult arm. 
I take my 16 long blue brick. That's the longest blue brick in the LEGO 9686 set. And we stick two of them together using two black connectors. On the end, we add another two black connectors. I see I put my black connector in the wrong place. There we go, just like that. <laughs> Happy little accident. Okay, let's put a black connector in here and another black connector in here. Coming up then with a six long brick and another one on the other side. Hold them together with a uh, four by two plate. Then add our effort point at the bottom. Add another four by two plate. And then add two four by one plates to fill in that last spot. And we have a nice bucket to hold things to throw right in there. So now is the important part, adding the pivot to our catapult. I'm going to use a six long axle and a red stopper here. Place it in and then carefully trying to find the center point of our catapult arm. Launch that in there like so. And now we have a working catapult. Let's see how it works. To launch my catapult, I take some missile. Here I just have a... Oh, yo. To launch my... <laughs> to fire my catapult, I just take a missile. Here I have a 3D printed yellow ball. I place it into the catapult basket, like so. Hold it down with one hand, and on the effort side, fire. Perfect! Now one of the great things about building a catapult out of Lego is you can change the pivot point. So for example, if I wanted, I could pull out my pivot point, push it all the way up here, and see if that's better than it was before. So now my pivot point is not in the center, it's towards the load. So I put my missile in and tried to fire this. And it went a little bit further. So that actually is a bit of an improvement. So as you can see guys, our Lego catapult works great. Really simple build, I think, and showcases how a simple lever mechanism can be used to move heavy things. Make sure you experiment more with different pivot positions to try and see which one is the best. And until next time, I've been Paul, you've been fantastic. Bye-bye.